Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. A bit ago I went to the Segmented Wood Turning Symposium with my wife and we both attended sessions and I think I made a mistake because she attended one by Malcolm Tibbetts in which he talked about a saw stop, table saw, and said that it's only a really a matter of time before someone using a standard table saw will cut off a finger or a couple of fingers or more than a couple of fingers. And so he said any woodworker ought to have a saw stop just for safety's sake because it will happen. Well, when we got home, my wife said, I want a saw stop for Christmas. Now, she doesn't use a table saw, but she says, if you get me a saw stop, I'll let you use it. Well, okay, that sounds like a deal. However, my old craftsman table saw was my friend. I, I had used it for years and years. I had customized it. If you, as you'll see, I had it up on a wooden base with casters under it so I could move it around easily. The base was long enough and wide enough to support the incra fence uh, and from the used to just bend and, and fall down. And I had, had jigs and fixtures that fit it. And it was like parting with an old friend, but it's something that I guess I have to do. So <clears throat> I spent this week moving things around. So I took the old saw off the wooden base and I put the saw stop on my wooden base. Okay, that, that works pretty good. And I moved the incra fence over to the saw stop. And that's, that's worked well for me, so it should continue to work well. Couple of downers, uh, the saw stop extension tables are kind of flimsy without their uh, rip rails. So I had to do a couple of supports, but that was doable. And the other is that the miter gauge slots are both different. They're wider away from the saw blade than my old saw. So of course the other fixtures that I have for customized for my saw aren't going to work anymore. I'm going to have to remake them. And the most important one to me has been my cross cut sled. And I've got to do something about that so that it will fit and work on my new saw. In the end, perhaps it was not really a mistake. It's not the end of the world to use my wife's table saw. I can make the adjustments that's required. So until next week, this is Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. Make sure you wear your full face shield. Saw stops are not enough.